for over 50 years, the people of South Sudan have been in conflict either with the North, which is Sudan, or with other local tribes. In April 2016, armed Murule soldiers raided a village in Ethiopia causing an international incident where 100 children were abducted. Most men in South Sudan have only known war and have a difficult time re-entering a peaceful lifestyle. The lack of employment, training for men returning from conflict and the lack of essential resources to live a normal life, the root causes of insecurity and famine. Food insecurity and malnutrition has exploded as did reliance on food distribution from non-governmental organizations. The wars and the conflict have had an effect on the environment as well. Crop production has been reduced and the forests have been depleted causing soil erosion and sedimentation build up in the Nile watershed. Environmental conservation is vital locally but also to the entire region as the Boma Mountains are an extension of the Ethiopian highlands. These mountains serve as one of the primary water sources of Great River Nile providing millions of people with water irrigated land for farming and electricity. As such, it's critical that steps be taken to protect this valuable resource through reforestation of South Sudan. In other areas also we have uh, water. We have managed to uh, to set up a uh, irrigation, ski, irrigation uh, project with uh, four watering points in our garden. We have uh, more than more than 50,000 liters of of, st of of tanks storage water or storage of water and uh, we have also made sure the villagers do not lack in water they get clean drinking water from the compound here and there are wells the boreholes also which they're supposed to be fetching water from we also make sure once in a while we uh, renovate Farming for Peace is an initiative that Sea Partners began in 2015. We prepared that right here in this very compound. And one of the things that we, we thought about is how can we socially and economically transform BOMA uh, so that they can become successful and, and live lives that are encouraging to others to, to follow as an example. So Farming for Peace is one of those things that, that we believe can do uh, several different things. One, we can create entrepreneurs. Uh, all societies that are successful have a, have a series of entrepreneurs who rise up and develop new businesses. With Farming for Peace, we intend to not only be farming, but, but using manufacturing as a key component to that. We wanna manufacture things like eucalyptus oil, lumber, uh, food, food, food production, uh, drying food, things like that. All of these things are designed to be able to help us uh, improve the lives of the people in Boma. Based on a recent in-depth needs assessment in Boma State, 14 years of programming Southern Sudan and a recent success in pivoting between development and emergency response, C Partners proposes to support affected communities of Boma to transition from emergency programming to recovery-based interventions. We have many, many challenges working here in Boma. As you can imagine, we're, we're in the bush. Uh, we're far from the beaten path. We're almost 490 kilometers from Juba, and we're out in the middle of nowhere. And there's no infrastructure here. So everything that we have here, we've had to create on our own. So we've had to develop our own water sources. We've had to develop our own electricity through solar. We've had to build all our own structures and we've had to import or bring in all the supplies to do that. So it's quite expensive. Most of the time you have to fly it in by air when it's during the dry season, then you can drive some trucks in, but mostly things are brought in by air. So there's a lot of logistical challenges to working in Boma, but we're so grateful for this opportunity because we really believe that this program, Farming for Peace, can have a long-term benefit to not just Boma, but all through South Sudan. Essentially, C Partners intends to encourage and support farming for peace. C Partners is therefore requesting for your support for the implementation of peace building through environmental conservation, agricultural production, 
Community Development and Economic Growth Program in Boma State. We have uh, acquired five tractors and we are using the five tractors to cultivate the land we have been given, which is over a thousand acres. At the moment, only uh, about uh, 10 are uh, actually uh, the ones that we are making use of. By expanding the agricultural production and implementing an agroforestry program, C Partners has identified four key issues which contribute to the lack of livelihood opportunities, impede household recovery, and limit people's potential to lead productive and dignified lives. These are 1. Food security through leadership development and training. C Partners has been granted 1,000 acres to farm. This project will employ over 1,000 people in five years. Secondly, agribusiness production through large-scale farming. 750 acres of land will be planted in cash crops for food security and for selling. 5,000 fruit trees will be planted for food security and for selling. Thirdly, environmental conservation through agroforestry. 200,000 eucalyptus trees will be planted to preserve the watershed of the Nile. Eucalyptus oil will be produced, extracted through the leaves. Lastly, sustaining education program for children in Boma State. The problem is that we cannot proceed with our learning is about the work, Murle and J. So in case of that, we have no place to, to continue with, us, with our studies. Since in two years, we have nowhere to study, but we have no, no, nowhere to go for school, and we have no school fees. We look for pe people who could sponsor us. Uh, we are educating them in school, giving them life skills. In 2013, there was a very violent uh, insurrection in this area. There was violence and a lot of people were displaced from Boma. It used to have three villages, Bayen, uh, Kaiwa and Jungle here where we are stationed. And we lost everything, literally everything that we had here was lost. And since that time, since 2014, we have started rebuilding and uh, getting back at least to where we are and if possible to exceed what we were doing at that particular time. So since 2014, I can say we have, since we came back, we have done much more than we, are, we, we, are, we even expected. God has been good to us, thank God. We re-established the school and reopened once again. It has been going on and going for, say for, since 2014, except for certain minor disruptions here and then. But the school is up and running. We have had uh, the first batch of class eight graduated in 2016. And now most of them are in secondary school in Kenya. This village, you find that most girls get married at an early age. Like we, st we still have the early marriage thing happening. So most of our girls don't come to school frequently. And the few that we have, they face a lot of challenges. Like during periods, they don't have their pads. So at that moment, few come to school. And also the uh, tough moments back at home restrict them from coming to school. Once South Sudan gained its independence in 2011, almost immediately the tribal conflicts began. And that's, Boma's included in that. There's been quite a few conflicts between the different tribes around here. And it allows us to, uh, one, develop a peace building strategy with them. And also it allows them to see that, hey, we're here for the long term which is why farming for peace is so important. We believe that if we can bring these communities together to begin this farming and manufacturing program that will develop over the course of the next five years, we can find a way to, to build a lasting peace in South Sudan. Primary and secondary schools will be funded through the program. The training for the next generation to reduce the high illiteracy rate in Southern Sudan is intended to take place. 
The goal of this project is to develop a business model that is totally sustainable after five years through cultivation, planting, and harvesting of cash crops, fruits, and timber. I really see the future for Boma is very bright. Not just because Sea Partners is here, because the community at large and the government want to see progress in this area. It's been marginalized for many years. And so now that BOMA has this opportunity to move forward into a new era, a new generation through Farming for Peace. As we begin to plant land, we have over a thousand acres of land in which to plant that will plant food, will plant trees, fruit trees, eucalyptus trees, all types of trees that can be made into lumber, that can, the, the eucalyptus oil can be made so that we can have a prosperous community. This, all of these items can be transported and exported to different parts of the country or even to the world. So Boma can, can strategically be a very important place. Mzungu, help Nina, help me, help people for work here. 